Today we're making a rich vanilla bean cream. This is something akin to a cross between a whipped cream or chanty and a buttercream. So we're gonna start off with a custard base. We're gonna cook out, cool, and then beat in some butter. So we're gonna start by adding our sugar, the cornstarch, to a saucepan, and then just give it a quick mix. The, the saucepan's not on yet, so just using it to mix it. Then we'll add our plant-based milk, soy or oat. Before we've added any heat, we want to just mix everything really well. Make sure that there are no lumps of cornstarch or corn flour left. So the thing is, as soon as you start heating up the milk, it's hot and you add the corn flour, you get lumps. So you really want to make sure it's nicely distributed. We want to turn the heat up to medium. We can add the vanilla paste. and stir this really well. Now, this is a reasonably small quantity. I would then switch to a silicon spatula and stir constantly so it doesn't catch on the bottom. So we're just gonna stir it and we'll notice it start to thicken after about two or three minutes. The finished product in this recipe has, I guess, a light sweetness, it's not very sweet. Um, if you feel like it could be sweeter, feel free to add a bit more sugar, but in the next stage of the recipe when we're beating it. So I can feel it starting to thicken on the base. It's really good to just continue stirring. It might look like it's curdled or that there are some lumps throughout the mix, but just keep stirring. We need to cook this until it reaches a boil, so you'll start to see bubbles, and then it will thicken. We need to keep stirring it for at least another 30 seconds to make sure that it's cooked all the way through, otherwise you have a little bit of a flowery taste and then we can take it off heat. You see we've got this kind of really lovely, luscious custard texture. So for this next stage, I'm using cling film to help cool this small recipe quite quickly. Otherwise I'd recommend using a shallow dish and pouring it. You don't want mixes that you're cooling to be more than three centimeters thick or it takes a little bit long to cool. So I'm just pouring this onto, and I'll show you, this whole mixture will be cooled within five minutes to room temperature. So we always need to make sure that there's, there's something touching the surface, whether it's plastic, um, plastic wrap or a silicon mat, um, otherwise we get like a thick skin that forms. Because it's a small quantity, working with it like this, it cools very quickly. So within five minutes, this should be room temperature. You can flip it over, move it around a cold bench, or put it on a tray in the fridge. And essentially, because we've spread out the surface area, it'll cool down much faster. For this final stage of the recipe, we have this plant-based shortening made from coconut oil, uh, cocoa butter, and a little bit of rapeseed oil. You are welcome to use a vegan or plant-based stick butter, but make sure it's the stick and not the spread because it's too soft, or you can use a vegetable shortening. So we want to make sure that's room temperature, and our custard base is also room temperature, and I'm just going to decant this into this dish. Now I'm going to start by beating this. beat this until it's soft and fluffy. If it's not soft, it's probably a bit too cold. So maybe just zap it in the microwave for five or 10 seconds. But the main thing is that it just needs to be really creamy. Otherwise, as we start adding the custard, the temperature is going to be off and it won't incorporate as nicely and it's a little bit harder to get it to where it needs to be. So just checking that, it's nice and soft. Now I'm gonna add spoonful at a time uh, and beat it into the mixture. Great. And then just in between each addition, giving it a light mix and then adding a bit more. So we're going to add it in roughly three additions. Quick scrape down. You can see it's got this really kind of luscious, buttercreamy texture. So you can see that it has a super luscious texture. 
you can do this whole mixing process with a stand mixer as well. But I probably wouldn't attempt it by hand. Okay, so just mixed that. Just checking the temperature. It's around 25 degrees Celsius. The thing is, if your mixture is too cold, the butter um, can have a tendency to not aerate the way that it needs to. And so you end up with what looks like, I guess, a split or curdled texture. And if that happens, you just need to put your bowl into a, a larger bowl or a sink with some uh, hot water or over a saucepan, just a few seconds at a time, just add a little bit of heat and then continue beating. Or you take a little portion out, put it into a small bowl and microwave it for 20 odd seconds, just so it's warm and then you can add it back in. And this just adds a little bit of heat into the mixture so that you can get the best possible creamy texture. If however, your mixture is too hot, your mix, your finished mix will be too soft and not hold its shape. If that happens, put it in the fridge for 10 minutes or so at a time to bring the temperature down and then you can beat it up again. But I would say the best method is make sure that you're using room temperature, shortening or butter and that your custard is also room temperature. It's better to be 25 degrees Celsius so that it whips and you end up with a really luscious cream.